social conflict theory. The ideas that make up the social conflict theory can be traced back to early philosophers. But in the 19th century, a sociologist by the name of Karl Marx revolutionized the theory of social conflict. Marx's dedication to social change led him to focus most of his work on revolutionary class conflict in industrial societies. Karl Marx saw that the exploitation of the lower class by the upper class would lead to social conflict. Because of Marx's adaptation to the social conflict theory, many other sociologists have been able to understand various other conflicts within society. We begin in Vaughn Lobby, ready to get our own UT's population opinions on conflict theory. Alright, uh, can you explain what conflict theory is? Have you ever heard of conflict theory? I've never heard of it. Never? Have you ever? No. Um, oh, this is terrible. I took sociology like two years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I, I know what conflict theory is, I just don't know I it's not what it is yes. anymore. That's okay. No? Uh, okay, well, have you ever felt in conflict with another group because of your sex, religion, race, or economic status? Yeah, I'd say so. You think so? Yeah. Just, you just feel like you can't get on the same level no matter what, and they'll always look down on you, especially the economic level. And kind of look down you, their look nose down at you. you. Yeah. I, I just feel like people tend to click off into groups, mm -hmm. um, and the differences in those groups spark like the reasons why there are like, fraternities are a good example. Like, <laughs> exactly, yeah. We compete against, like, we don't have anything against the other fraternities, but we compete against them on a daily basis for members, for uh, just about anything that's going to so, the fact that we're in different groups and the fact that we have that competitive aspect to it kind of creates a conflict. Right. Because we're always trying to one up them or they're trying to one us. Exactly. Right. Uh, is there anywhere else in society that you see this happening? Everywhere. It happens everywhere. everywhere. Advertising is just huge about that. It's a lot of violence. I mean, just the class system in this country. Like, Everyone always says the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Like that's a perfect example. Right. One group exploiting another group to like stuff their own pockets, whereas like the little guy gets left behind and stuff. All right. These are my opinions, not the opinions of the army. All right. Uh, can you explain what conflict theory is, or have you ever heard of conflict theory? No, I haven't. No, never. Okay. Um, have you ever felt conflict with another group because of your sex, religion, race, or economic status? At any point? Not personally. Not personally? But you know it's going on, yeah. of course, in society, yeah. Alright, well, um, conflict theory is pretty much uh, groups in society that compete for resources and in doing so exploit each other to get ahead. So, for example, the rich over the poor, you know, or men over women. Um, so, would you say there's places in society where you definitely see this happening? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess there, uh, there's definitely, I don't know so much about this country, but definitely other countries you see it a lot, like, uh, some, uh, it used to be like the Netherlands had that problem. So. Yeah, for that. Okay. Okay, um, have you ever heard of conflict theory, or can you explain what conflict theory is? No, okay. No? Okay. Um, have you ever felt in conflict with another group because of your sex, religion, race, or economic status? Yes. Definitely? Yeah. You said? Yeah, with all of them. Oh, every single one? Yeah. Right. Um, well, conflict theory is uh, groups in society that compete for resources uh, and in doing so exploit each other to get ahead. Okay. So, for example, the rich over the poor. You know. yeah. um, would you say there's anywhere in society now that you see this happening? All over the place. All over the place? Yeah. Okay. And like big and small amounts. Conflict theory is a Marxist-based social theory which argues that individuals and groups within society have different amounts of material and non-material resources, as in the wealthy versus the poor, and that the more powerful groups use their power in order to exploit groups with less power. The two methods by which this exploitation is done are through brute force and with economics. Alright, uh, can you explain what conflict theory is? Conflict theory is a theory that suggests that the nature of human group relations is actually conflictual. That there's a group, there will always be a subgroup that ultimately develops that gains access to scarce resources and will then use the access to those resources to dominate the other groups and the most
most effective mechanism for domination is ideology. Wow. That's a great definition. Well, thank you. Um, have you yourself ever felt in conflict with another group because of your sex, religion, race, or economic status? No way. I love everybody. I'm kidding. Yes, indeed. I have uh, felt discrimination um, myself, and growing up as a member of society, I had to unlearn some of the prejudices that I was taught. Uh, so, um, yeah, throughout life there's been ongoing challenges, although I recognize that being a tall, white male puts me in the group that I'm going to experience uh, disadvantage or prejudice a lot less and a lot less severely than many other groups. Alright, and um, is there anywhere else in society beyond your own life that you see this occurring? Sure. You know, human beings have just a wonderful um, ability to stratify and come up with excuses to treat other people poorly. We also have um, the great capacity to treat each other in an empathetic um, and humane way with dignity. Therein lies what I would consider the biggest moral challenge for human beings. How can we treat each other in a, a sense of integrity that will ultimately enrich life and ensure the survival of the species? It's going well. Almost done. Alright. See you at the gym. Oh, I can't wait to get swollen. to explain the position of women in society. Feminist conflict theory argues that women have traditionally been oppressed so that men can benefit from positions of power, wealth, and status. These theorists would argue that the conflict over limited resources is what led men to relegate women into domesticity. Oh my god, you're right! It's also clear now! Jim is going to register to vote for the first time. Hey, I'm here to vote. Have you passed your literacy exam? What's a literacy exam?
Social conflict theory can be applied to many areas in the world that are engaged in conflict due to several factors. Racism, sexism, classism, sexual discrimination, and ethnic strife continue to persist worldwide, inflicting unspeakable, immeasurable harm to all of those affected. In the United States, Hispanics in Arizona are threatened with harsh discrimination by a new law that targets them as criminals simply due to their ethnicity and physical characteristics. In Mexico, the wealthy, powerful drug gangs systematically exploit the lower classes, forcing them to carry drugs as mules, working for little to no wages, and murdering those who do not comply. In Darfur, a region of Sudan in Africa, the Dinka ethnic group has been targeted by the dominant Islamic ethnic group in a campaign of ethnic cleansing. Overall, hundreds of thousands of people are confirmed dead. In France, the burqa has been banned and Muslims cannot openly practice parts of their religion.